Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. In today's video we are going to be designing a little flower pot or a vase or vase or whatever you want to call it. Um, but we're going to be using uh, the coil tool and project 3D geometry. Um, and then we're going to use a bit of the surface uh, workspace. So let's get into today's video. We're going to start this one off by creating a coil so i'll go create select coil and i'll select this top plane here now i'll click on our origin there and drag this out to 100 millimeters now you can see we've got our coil going up quite a few revolutions i'm going to change this to 0.5 maybe that's even a bit much 0 0.2 0 0.3 there we go so I previously did this design and I 3D printed it. So I will show you how that turned out at the end. Um, but let's see how we go with our one. Once we've done our coil, we're going to create a sketch on our front plane here. I'm just going to use L line tool and draw a line up there roughly to the height of our uh, little coil there. And then we'll go create, project, include, include 3d geometry and we'll click on our little coil there finish sketch now we can turn this body off you can see we've got these these two over here um, what we're going to do now is move into the surfaces workspace and go create and loft now we can select these two and create a loft so we've got that surface loft but because it's a surface it doesn't actually have a thickness so we need to create a thickness to it so if i go s and type in thicken you can use the thicken tool click on there and we're going to make that three millimeters okay so now i've got this one section of a curve it's not very useful by itself but we can create a pattern with it so circular pattern we'll select that select the axis as our upright there and we're going to do quite a few of these probably close to 15 or 20 um, and then hopefully we can join them sometimes it doesn't really want to work so there we've got 20 it's just easier if they're all uh, if it's joined and they're all one body so let's try this combine we'll select a couple of the bodies and see if they join for us Sometimes it computes, sometimes it, for some reason, cannot compute, which is a bit strange, but um, it seems to be doing all right so far. It'll pop up a little warning if it can't figure out what it's doing. There we go, like that one. So let's just remove this last one. And okay. Now you can see we've got three bodies, it's a lot easier to deal with. We can try again to compute it. No, we don't want that body. Okay, so now we've got one body, they're all joined. Don't know why we have to do it in two steps, but there we go. Now we're gonna do some shapes. So create a sketch on our front plane. I'm just zooming out so I can access it more easily. And I'll slice it. So that's what it looks like on the inside. We've got to do a couple of shapes here. So draw L for line tool, draw it right out there. You'll see why we need it there shortly. We're going to use our spline tool. And this is going to be the outside shape of the vase or whatever you want to call it. Our flower holder. Now we're going to go offset because we need an offset to be our sort of um, the inner the inner bit and then the outer bit so we'll have this trimming away all the excess on the outside so this profile will be a cutting tool clearing out the excess and this will be our uh, inner bit so I'm just gonna join these and then align tool again we'll go up from the origin all the way past there you'll see I'm not really worried about uh, um, having them all constrained and all of that we'll just carry on like this 
and then this will go to our center over there so we've got these three profiles now one outside one this one is not going to really do anything and there we go so now we revolve first one i'm going to do is this inside profile i'm going to actually wait first one i'm going to do is this second profile revolve it on this axis and it's going to be a join doesn't want to give me a join option so we'll make it a new body um, should let me do that so now we've got this new body inside there next we're going to do another revolve and i'm going to turn the sketch back on now it's this bit should let me do a cut our axis is that straight up line and there we've got our hollowed out um, little pot thing next one we're going to revolve this outer profile select our axis as our upright there okay now as you can see we've got these lines coming around and moving out you could make pretty much any shape you want on this um, if you don't like those lines there we can just slice them off so i'm going to create another sketch um, we could have done it in the initial sketch but i didn't get it right there so i'm just going to draw this line drag it down to where i want it just below those and then we've got some funny looking lines today i'm not really too focused on keeping it neat and tidy maybe it's not good uh, good design technique but anyway we're getting what we're looking for so there's our vase thing i don't actually like the shape of it let's see if we can go in and fix it up a little bit it's the center line that's holding the shape for us so should be able to fix it like this we may have some compute errors sometimes it doesn't quite turn out how you want that's a bit better um, it's not quite the same as the one i did previously it's just one more tweak and it's a bit closer to what i'm looking for if it's not right it's just how it's going to stay that's definitely better now we can turn these off but i don't like this top section here so i'm going to create another sketch i know what plane is selected there sketch on the front plane we're on and we're going to just do a little arc a three-point arc so i'm going to go more or less here and somewhere along there and drag it out to there and we'll go l for line tool and we're going to use this profile as a sort of a cutting tool finish sketch now revolve select our axis our axis will be this one here the y-axis i'm getting myself turned around here anyway there we've got our smoothed out sort of uh top part um now this this actually prints quite nicely i was, I was quite surprised at how nicely it prints but that's how you do that we get these little lines and you can always make these sections bigger say we had to go into our our sketch over here and set this to four millimeters we would have these these little pieces being longer but obviously it affects our curve so we need to change our cutoff curve there let's let's do that i think it looks a bit better with the bigger the bigger section now this these three point arcs are quite annoying they don't let you make changes and keep their original shape they kind of do their own thing so there we go line tool join that and it's not quite right let's just drag this down there we go it's nice and curved and smooth i think it looks a lot better with the longer sections 
Um, still got multiple bodies, which isn't ideal. We got that. that, that that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if it'll let me join them now. Yes, there we go. We're down to one body. This, of course, is our coil that we don't use. But that is how you can create this little pot. If you want to add a bit of color to it, we'll push A for appearance. Now I'll right click on this and say edit. It's, I think this is a color. I use something similar to this. Not so much a, a shiny one, but something, something like this. So we will see when we do, when I show you the print now. now. So that's how my print turned out. I quite liked it. Um, but now you know how to project, include 3D geometry and use it to make unique things like this vase. Till next time, bye.